Hi, I'm Corey from the First Nations Health Authority Environmental Public Health Team. Today we're going to go over how to use a chlorometer to measure chlorine. Measuring chlorine levels ensures that an appropriate level of chlorine remains in the drinking water distribution system to protect against microbial recontamination. Discuss with your environmental health officer where and how often chlorine residuals need to be sampled. The Hatch Pocket Chlorometer 2 is a common chlorometer used by community-based water monitors. The chlorometer comes with an instruction manual, which describes how to use it and how to troubleshoot problems. You can verify the chlorometer's performance by following the manufacturer's instructions. Here's how to measure free chlorine residual and total chlorine residual. A typical pocket chlorometer has two ranges, low and high. Before using the chlorometer, you must select the proper range. The low setting reads measurements from 0.02 to 2.00 mg per liter of chlorine. The high setting reads measurements between 0.1 and 8.0 mg per liter. Please note that the different test kits may have slightly different ranges. To measure free chlorine residual, set your meter to the low range. High range usually doesn't capture the typical low chlorine residuals we see in community distribution systems, but may need to be used in the event that chlorine residuals are above 2.00 mg per liter. Chloramines are usually measured as combined chlorine residual. You find this by subtracting the free chlorine residuals from the total chlorine residual. Total chlorine minus free chlorine equals combined chloramines. Wash your hands or use an alcohol wipe or hand sanitizer if you can't wash with soap and water. Run the tap for about two to five minutes. The flow should be the width of a pencil. Fill the sample cell, also called a vial, to the 10 millimeter mark and put on the cap. Carefully dry the outside of the sample vial with a lint-free cloth or tissue like an AccuWipe to remove fingerprints and any traces of liquid. Here's a tip, be careful not to scratch the outside of the sample vial, as this can affect the reading. Turn on the meter. Remove the cover from the pocket chlorometer and place the sample vial in the measuring chamber. Make sure the diamond-shaped marker is facing towards the screen. Replace the cover. Press the zero button. The counter should read 0.00. Chlorometers are zeroed or blanked to account for any background color in the sample that may impact the chlorine residual reading. For an accurate chlorine residual reading, don't forget this step. Remove the sample vial from the measuring chamber. You have now completed meter zeroing. Fill a different sample vial with the water from the tap to the 10 milliliter line. For a low-range sample of free chlorine, take one packet of DPD free chlorine reagent. For a low-range sample of total chlorine, take one packet of DPD total chlorine reagent. Add the contents of the reagent packet to the water sample. Replace the cap and shake gently to dissolve the DPD reagent.
carefully dry the outside of the sample vial with a lint-free cloth, like an AccuWipe, to remove any fingerprints and any traces of liquid. Place the prepared sample vial in the measuring chamber. Make sure the diamond-shaped marker is facing the screen and replace the instrument cover. With the chlorometer on a flat surface, press the check mark symbol button. For free chlorine, this needs to be done with one minute of adding the DPD to the sample of water. Record the number on your field sample data sheet. When finished, thoroughly rinse the sample vials immediately several times. For total chlorine, you need to wait three to six minutes after adding the DPD to the sample water. The instrument now displays the chlorine residual in milligrams per liter. Record the number on your field sample data sheet. Let's look at interpreting results. The lower limit for free chlorine in the drinking water distribution system is 0.2 milligrams per liter. This is the ideal concentration. The upper limit for total chlorine in the drinking water distribution system is 4.0 milligrams per liter. If the free chlorine or the total chlorine residual is outside the normal range, 0.2 milligrams per liter to 4.0 milligrams per liter, or the combined chlorine residual is greater than 3.0 milligrams per liter, you should retest. If the results remain low or high, immediately notify your water treatment plant operator and environmental health officer. If you're consistently getting readings that are outside of the normal range, it is important to troubleshoot your monitor and check for the following issues. Do the batteries need replacing? Is the light inside the monitor clean? Are the sample vials clean and unscratched? Leftover reagent will stain your vials. Have you properly zeroed or blanked your monitor before taking your readings? If you ever have any questions about how to use your chlorine test kit, contact your friendly community environmental health officer or email environmental.health at fnha.ca. Please see our other videos in the Community-Based Water Monitor series for more information on how to select sample site, how to take a sample, and how to process samples in your community lab.